and good day. My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmermarketing.com and in today's video what I'd love to share with you is just a quick and easy tip that can not only help you rank higher but it can also give you more keyword and keyword variations that you actually start ranking for which gives you more traffic. It gives you higher rankings and makes your pages do better. So I'm going to give you a quick and easy tip something that you may or may not have thought of but it's definitely effective but before I do please Give me a second. Check out chrispalmermarketing.com, consulting, services, whatever you need. I'm here to help you. So with that out of the way, what I, the tip that I want to share with you is something very easy. And this is just a, a friend of the family. Uh, this is Mr. Musto. I'm going to utilize this as the example. All right. Now, what I'm sharing with you is a very simple, easy to use tip, but it's often overlooked. And what I'm talking about here is utilizing internal anchor text in the head, the foot, also in the body, but most notably in this example, in the head and the foot. And what we're doing here is we're using variations of primary keyword. It could also include keywords like near me. You could also use maybe near, or maybe you could use sentiment words like top or best, words like that, in order to encompass and get more keyword traffic, rank higher. So in this instance, here's what we did. All right, I'll share with you right now. So if we come over here and we open up a new browser, I'm going to go ahead and just clear this off because I was looking at other client stuff. Give me one second. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what I want to show you. Now I'm utilizing a keyword tool called Keywords Everywhere. It's very inexpensive, great tool. I'm not sponsored, but check them out if you want uh, this keyword data. So I want to share with you the client's information and why I chose certain variations for the head and the foot. All right, now we're just starting to work on this, so bear with us, <laughs> but we got our main menu with our four primary services, wealth management, financial advisor, retirement pension planning, and retirement planner. Now, here's what I want to share with you. If we come over here, back to the uh, SERP, where we can do a search and look at keyword volume, what we find out is uh, wealth manager, all right? Let's just take a look. Wealth manager. So the word manager for this particular instance, I'm doing a broad match. This particular variation has 74,000. All right. Now, if I do advisor, all right, that generally will have slightly less. So now we have, we know we have wealth management, financial advisor. We can do manager. We have management. You see the variations. So there's advisor, there's manager. Okay. And then there's management, all right? These are three separate variations that all carry volume, all right? And then, of course, we have advisor, which I think I mentioned already. Now, with that being said, and knowing that, okay, oftentimes when looking for this particular type of service, they're either looking for a manager, management, an advisor, or advisors, or managers, right? These are the different variations that we can utilize inside of our head, our foot, our sidebar, and in our body when internally linking to these pages. So here's what we did for this particular gentleman. So at the top, we're targeting the primary terms. These also terms have the highest volumes because then when we break it down by state, if the broad match has a high volume, then generally your states will have the next best and then into popular cities will have your best after that, right? Sometimes even cities have more. But with that being said, when we look at this, we have wealth management, financial advisor, retirement pension planning, and retirement planner. So I did my multiple variations. We have planner, planning, advisor, and management. Now, here's what we'll do. We'll scroll down to the very bottom where the uh, footer is. This is a giant footer. They like to, He likes to have this kind of stuff, but the four primary categories, we have now advisors. So I'm targeting two variations in the head and then the foot, two separate. And then remember, these particular elements are site-wide. So now, now not only am I getting keyword variations for advisor, but I'm also getting advisors, right? We have, uh, the next one is financial advisor. So we come down to the list. Now we utilize managers, right? And I've added the S. Now, if we scroll on up to the top, I'm sure you're getting the point, but I just want to hammer this home. Uh, we look at retirement pension planning, retirement pension advisors, right? And then last but not least, Let's just take a look at our retirement planner. 
And then what, what did we decide to go with? Retirement planners, just a variant. Okay, we added an S. So this is how we can not only grab more keywords and rank for more keywords, but then on top of that, we're sending internal links and note two internal links has the same power. If my site's a DR30, right? If I build two internal links to a page from a DR30, because my site's a DR30 or whatever it is, that's like building an external link that's a DR30 give or take, right? And this is a good way to look at it. So not only was I able to build internal link flow going to a page, but I'm also building different variants to that page, which will help that page rank for those secondary keywords. I hope this makes sense. Now, what you're looking for is you're looking to gather up all of your keywords, your keyword variants, make sure you're getting them into the head, make sure you're getting them into the body, and more importantly, definitely, 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 if you can, use as many variations as possible. So I hope that this has been helpful. I know it's a simple tip, but something this simple could be the difference of an extra 100, 200, or 300 visitors per month. Why? Because I have the keyword on the page. I hope this, I hope this has hammered home. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions related to on-page SEO or internal linking, anything at all, never hesitate to go ahead and ask in the section below. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next on-page SEO, how to get your better internal linking video. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.